This guy, Terrence Nolan, was arrested more than a year ago. Albuquerque police say he was in a stolen car. But even though he was arrested last March, it took a year for him to be officially charged with the crime. Court records show while prosecutors were getting his case ready, he was arrested again, this time for having a handgun and a gram of meth. As a prosecutor, you do not want a situation where you are about to indict someone or you want to indict someone, but they're uh, reoffending. That's a prosecutor's nightmare. Prosecutors here in Bernalillo County live that nightmare frequently. For someone to be formally charged in New Mexico can happen one of two different ways. The first through a grand jury where 12 jurors are given evidence here in a secret room and they decide if that person should be charged. The second, a preliminary hearing, which is a mini trial before a judge. KOAT legal analyst John Day says most states have the same process. Defense lawyers and constitutional scholars will say this is a process that protects the rights of defendants against overreaching against bad investigation. But at times it can take months or years to charge someone. There are 14 states that do it differently. Instead, prosecutors can submit paperwork to a judge to sign and formally charge someone. Doing it this way can take just days. You're taking away one of those um, what could be considered a, a speed bump, something that slows down the process. You're just moving it through with the judge checking off some boxes to, set, to say this is, you've got this case, you can move forward. I think we need to put all of those ideas on the table. Bernalillo County District Attorney Raul Torres says when he took office, he said he found 8,000 felony cases sitting in boxes that had not been taken to a grand jury. Some of them were years old. Torres says he's open to solutions for moving cases forward more quickly. And you're not proving things beyond a reasonable doubt is, should this case begin, should it start at all? That's the question, and it's a very basic question. And in most, most other jurisdictions, it's a question that can be answered in relatively short order. So would speeding up the process solve the crime crisis? Chief Public Defender Ben Bauer says no. It's going to move the bottleneck further down, and uh, it will lead to more people having to do more work uh, before you determine what's happening with the case. As for the guy accused of being in a stolen car, he's still waiting to be tried 506 days after he was arrested. For Target 7, I'm Sasha Leninger.